Hello and welcome everybody. I am Manic Mank. This is Europe Universalis 4 with Sevlox and Keeves. Hello. Hi. Hello. I wasn't ready for this. It's, you, it's, it's, you're, you're born ready. You, you don't have a choice. Oh, oh, I wasn't doing a countdown. What's going on? What are we doing? It's uh, too late. It's too, too late. late. Oh, you, don't get a, you don't get an option. Uh, oh, money we're, on we're sort of playing a bit of a bit of an interesting one. Uh, we're doing... Well, I'm I'm doing a Coptic Africa. Uh, Keeves here is playing Hijaz, and uh, we don't we don't know where Sevlox is, and that's probably for the best, <laughs> I would say. Well, I only know I only know um, Keeves exists. Ah, oh, well, that's I, yes, I do exist. It's and I, I don't I don't care about that. Oh, thanks. I guess he's, in, he's a different he's a uh, he's a heathen. I, I, I know you exist, but I'm kind of disappointed about it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> That makes me feel so much better about this. Well, I, I don't really care. He exists. He's a heathen. But uh, yeah, are really, really close to uh, main yes. over here. Yeah. Where I think we're going to kind of take team this area. Yeah. I'm gonna try to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna try and do. I've never actually played Ethiopia before, but I was super excited about it. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> Coptic. Coptic Africa. Yeah, hang on, I've got to try to stop my cat from drinking my paging water. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's something that he said out loud and thought made sense. It didn't. It does make no, sense. No, it I need to stop my cat from drinking my painting water. Okay. Um, water I'm that you can dry with paper right now. Uh, fine, people be that way. <clears throat> okay. I've, done, I, I've, I've been that way, I did it. <laughs> Uh, all right. Are we good to? No. No. I am ready. Yep. I don't have enough money for advisors, so that's not gonna happen. I think I know how Moscovy managed to kill Novgorod so easily. They've gained nine k more men. Ah. Just out of nowhere. They used to have just thirteen k. They now have twenty two k. Fancy. I'm gonna make my crap air into a general mm -hmm. and. Being out here, I guess. I don't want to really pick galleys, do I? No. Yeah, not really. I because it's. I mean, like the the Red Sea is inland, but that's it. The rest of it is sort of not. I guess. From what I hear, even though um, even though they get a bonus to inland seas, even if you take an uh, a galley to a uh, an ocean tile. Because of how cheap the galley galleys are, yeah, it's better to use them than like brokes. Hmm. Really? Bro brokes? Brokes? Sparks? Yeah. From what I from what Buckers. I hear, they are they're just hmm. um slightly just... better, mostly for the the price per pound, I guess, kind of thing. Hmm. Um, they're ridiculously cheaper. Interesting. However, if money isn't an issue, it's better to go for the other ones. Yeah, because they have more. Ships. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If money is an issue, then go with galleys. If it is an issue, then go brokes. Alliance breaking. It, the hell to her. Mm. Just allied. Trade power. For some reason, all of my merchants are not doing anything. Uh, I don't know where. Where are my merchants? I, I guess know. I'll just send somebody to collect from. Trade. I got a merchant in Aleppo. Why? Why are you there? See, this doesn't even doesn't even help. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get declare Two war ball! number one. Wow, that was yeah. quick. You were just straight up. Well, uh, it's a uh, one province who, or not? Well, four province, but who is not allied to anybody else. <laughs> I'm way ahead of both of you. I'm already in a war. Oh. Wow. See, all the dudes around me are all allied with each other. What a bunch of jerks. It became like a circle jerk of allies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just That's like... the worst kind of uh, circle jerk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, circle jerk of clowns. That would, mm. that would top it. Indeed. That sounds terrible. <laughs> We're allied clowns. Decline of the merchant classes. I don't know. Guys, if if the second worst is allied, and the worst are clowns, what allied clowns? What? Yeah. what? Allied I don't even who? know what's happening. Allied anymore. clowns. Allied clowns. 
Wouldn't that like be the clown. worst? Clowns allied with each other? Yeah. They're like oh. an alliance of clowns. You know what? I always felt bad for the clowns. I think they get a bad rap. Um, their whole job is to make kids laugh, and everyone hates them for it. I don't. I don't know. I always like clowns. But everyone's like, clowns are so scary. Yeah, I, I don't know. really get the, that they're scary. Like, I guess it's because of the paint? I don't know. Maybe? They don't. They look inhuman. Well, I, isn't that the point, though? I don't know. I was. I always <laughs> felt that like clowns got a bad rap. I always felt sorry for them. Is I a clown apologi apologist? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. You damn clown apologists. <clears throat> oh, man. All these guys ally with each other. Not cool at all. Especially Yemen. Yemen's ally with everybody. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, Yemen's ally with Naj and Shamar, and they're right next to me, both of them. So I can't really expand without <laughs> going to war with all three of these dudes. It's uh, not fun. Unless I go to war with Shamar and their ally with Yemen, but... Uh, balls. So, here's something. Mm. How do mine it's and tough. my troops not uh, tell the difference between mine and Novgorod's troops because we're the same uniforms, like, exactly? Uh, how, how, how do we not, like, stab each other accidentally in the heat of battle? We not can't tell the difference by using uniforms. I don't know. Mm. Our are, are exactly the Maybe same. Maybe your shoelaces are different? I don't know. You know, wait, wait, wait. Guy. guys, guys, hold on. What? Let's look at each other's shoes. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. In the heat of battle, it's like two guys are fighting each other, and then wait a Rebel second. Rebel scum. We're both using black shoe or shoelaces, fighting the wrong guys. Oh no! I did it again. Every time. We need one a better tries, way one's... to tell each other apart. How terrible. about one of us? How about some? Uh, how about we just don't wear shoes? And the other side does. <gasps> shoes versus skins. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a good idea to pull. You know, in in northern Russia. You know, shoes what kind of idiot? Would, what kind of idiot would be running around without any shoes on? <laughs> shoes in, like Siberia. Stumps. Yeah, shoes versus stumps. <laughs> ah, he has frostbite all over. He must be the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Black legs, that's what they call themselves. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, I have won my war. Good job. Congratulations. And that it's like I'm in the process of sieging everything, but. Nice. Order tensions. Let's see. If I declare war, Adele will not join. Jerks. Damn it, Adele. Oh, yeah, you're allied to Adele. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not going to go to war with him yet, then, but... Doesn't... Helen of Ethiopia. Daughter of the Muslim chiefs. And one of the most influential person in Ethiopian politics. Fancy. Oh, I got a new heir. 033. Wow, that'd be great if I could afford her. Uh, level 3 diplomat for 4 gold a month. Yikes. Ooh. That would be nice. Unfortunately, I'm losing more than that every month, so... Oh. I'm losing 1 gold every month, so I don't have the 4 to... No, you don't necessarily spend. Well, isn't that just a kick in the nuts? Yeah, it's like, oh, great. Oh, never mind. Not a kick in the head. Randomly clicking buttons, and I'm not sure what I should do. Zooming that, in, zooming how, out. Is that the just that's, just clicking? That's, that's, just how, that's just how I play this game. Hit all the buttons and hope you do something. Okay. 
Just spamming the disband unit button. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Where are all my guys going? Aliens. I really want to take some land from Yemen, but... Then do it. Well, they're friends with everybody. I don't care. I do. Yeah. I do care. No, I was just allied to the Timurids. Yemen and Hormuz. Where's Hormuz? So how's Ethiopia doing? Hormuz is that little one island. Oh, uh, the little one island between Timurids and uh, Omar. Omar. Yeah. yeah. Um, you might have your best chance against. <coughs> Shamar is my best chance, I think. They're allied with, with Yemen and or, or uh, Hormuz. Um. I just allied with Oman, and they might Najd join. Najd has 4,000, and Shamar has 6,000. So... Najd? They got a 7 stack. I just saw. No, Najd has 4,000, according to the ledger. I think it lies. Because I, I just saw them. Because in that case, it might be better to just attack... Oh, no, it wouldn't be. To, I'm like, oh, just attack Yemen, and then you only have to fight Shamar and Najd. And it's like, no. Can you get an alliance with uh, Mamluks? The Ma no, no, they're not. Oh, no. They're hostile towards no, me. No, the Mamluks not here. <laughs> <laughs> no. You'll come back later. Uh, no. How do I increase favors? Um, allies. I think Are by the like being an ally for a while, going to war with allies. I like it's. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just like being in a war with allies will increase your favor. If okay. you if you get called into a war by an ally, they have to give you like ten favors. Right. Well, I understand that, but I can't go into offensive war unless I have enough favors with them. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh huh. Oh, Marahan's down there. Oh, I'm an empire. Yeah, you are. Huh. I well, know that. I have won the first war. I am not an empire. Too bad. <clears throat> At least I don't think I am. No, I'm a duchy. So. I, just, I, I feel like that would be hilarious. Just woke up one morning and went, Ooh, I didn't realize it, but I'm an empire. Oh, <laughs> think about how powerful I am. <laughs> Suddenly I feel more important. Fear me. Well, Ethiopia was ridiculously strong for a very long time. Yeah, that's the thing. I think that's like that's why it's an empire. Like They were kind of the African power for a long ass time. Mm -hmm. And also, like, historically, they were the whatchamacallit. Oh, the whatchamacallit? Uh, historically, they basically. It's, it's later on than this, but historically, they basically they owned. They're basically the last independent. Which got, they basically never got conquered by any nation during the Until Global Italy era. showed up? <laughs> And that was during World War Two. That technically wasn't colonialism. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And they I weren't called them Ethiopia then. They were called Abyssinia. Oh yeah, they would have been, wouldn't they? Uh... Okay, I'm confused. Apparently, when I conquer Novgorod, the colors of my guys change. When you conquer parts, it is Novgorod. Your colors just change to a different color. Ethiopia oh. declared war on what's it? I have to. I don't oh. have a choice. Why? Because uh, Mamluks just declared war on him. Oh, uh, so you have to take him out before the Mamluks does. Yeah, and it's like uh, here. Let me pause for a minute because I just no, you can't that pause. War. And then you to there. Pausing her for the week. Uh, rival of a rival, Marahan. I don't even know what a Marahan is. Marahan. Ah, oh, that's you. Revelations. There you go. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Hi. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. On, on Monarch Death, succession war between Muscovy and Tver. 
Oh. They see, on the monarch death of Razan, there's a war between me and Tver. I think. I'm going you to lose that. will be okay. I think I'm going to lose against the one promise minor Tver. Isn't. I always thought Tver was your vassal. They usually start. They usually end up being your personal union, but they start off independent. Oh, right. Because they start off with a. No air, no ruler, and they have a weak claim. All these little Arabian countries are just kind of staring at each other. No one wants to go after each other because everyone's kind of allied with everybody else. Oh, right. That's the thing. I don't have the sand to stuff you guys do. I get the Cossacks as well. My air just died. No, Mamlokes. What? <gasps> they're still marching. Oh, they're marching into my territory. They're going to go kill the... <gasps> yes, they're going to go kill the other army. <laughs> yeah! Uh, I will have to keep this on pause. Well, not pause, but a very slow speed because this is very dependent on whether or not I get things at the right speed. You have to make sure you get a dude on Mendefera. Pause it if you need. We don't care. Yeah. Well, I don't. Uh, okay. Keep this mic, but I don't. <laughs> okay, I think I got him. Nice. Yeah, thumbs up. Ah. I don't know why I get so rage-inducing when it comes to pausing. I'm like, no, no, pause. You're allowed no. to do. You're not allowed to do precise things. Only I am. <laughs> <laughs> and there's and the Mamluks are sieging back my territory for me. That's always nice of them, yeah. right? Uh, they're just <laughs> so. so are you winning? Are you winning? Yes, I'm winning now. Yes, winning. Winning. Uh, thank you, Mamluks, for not being part of this war. Yeah. Ah, uh, guys, I have to wait until 1961 to declare on Novgorod again. Uh huh. I mean, oh. I mean, I did kind of take their capital and half their territory, but eh, who cares? <coughs> what? I hate it when I click the wrong button. You sure you didn't want to click the wrong button? I did not want to click the wrong button. Are you sure though? There's a possibility you may have wanted to click the incorrect button. No. Yes. Hey guys. No. What? Hey guys. Don't you hate it when a sentence doesn't end the way you fought it, octopus? <laughs> Here I'm trying to read things, and you say stupid stuff like that. <laughs> it ruins my immersion. The whole point. Yeah, we didn't know what octopuses it's... were. My my people don't have access to the ocean. <laughs> uh, we haven't researched that tech yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like being primitive. We haven't researched boats yet. We don't know what octopi are. Oh, I, I swear I did a game, uh, a game, game with Manic, where. It was, uh, we had custom nations on, and basically he somehow had western tech, and I didn't. So oh, no, I yeah, had and I had I to had sell western you boats. Oh, no, yeah. I, no, I think it was, no, I think it was the other way around, actually. I had western tech, and you didn't, so I had to sell you boats. Yeah, and it was like, oh, okay, yeah, because we were in the Caribbean or something. You would create yeah. a nation in the Caribbean, and, I and it's like, I was eastern tech, western... and you had no boats yeah, and I or somehow something. Got... It was like... I, no, I think I sold it to you. I think I sold them to you, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was hilarious. Pretty sure it was that way around. So I sold them to you, and then it somehow worked. You had boats when you shouldn't have. Yeah. We don't know how to build them, but we know how to use them. <laughs> well, I hadn't intended to go to war with this guy so quickly, but... It's going well? Yeah, it's going well. I actually won this war, too, but I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Um... Fancy, fancy. I'm trying to figure out the perfect timing to go on an offensive war. Never. 
for who? It's a lot of. Let's see. Uh, Shamar is allied to Yemen, and basically everyone around you is allied to each other. Have them there. Yes. Yeah, everyone's allied with everybody except for him. <laughs> no, I'm allied with a good portion of dudes. Like I'm allied with you and Adele and Oman. Yeah, no, you're actually do. Well, yeah, uh, you actually do have a decent. Uh, hang on, there's a call to arms. I need to check something out quickly. Who is this against? What is this about? Who is this for? Yes, exactly. Um, the nation of Rizan. Your faithful ally is requesting that you come to their aid to the Golden Hall. Oh, it's, it's a defensive war. I have to accept this. Because uh, I think this nation I'm going to get is a personal union over, and I don't want to lose it. Oh, it's against Golden Horde? Uh, yeah, the Golden Horde are invading. Yeah. Huh. I think you pretty much want to take that one. I have one Jewish province. <laughs> nice. I didn't even know they were they were, I mean, like I, I mean I know you can choose it because obviously there's the the uh what is it the game tra the save transfer from CK2 you know where you can have like Norse and all that other stuff but it's like I didn't know that there were any Jewish provinces in the game. Okay, so shall I accept cool. this good ones? So you essentially could convert your Come country to, to Jewish. Yes, you could. Yes. I don't know how, though. You'd have to incite a revolt. I'd have to incite and surrender to rebels. Yeah. Or, lose all your, or just lose all your territory, except for that one Jewish province. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you have to incite a accept... Jewish revolt and then let them win. Hmm. So, guys, and should I accept this good Jewish... one? You um, said you have to. All right, I've accepted it. I've accepted yeah. it, have I? Okay. Okay, I'll accept it. Dive, my Cossack men, dive! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't. What did that the, could be a lot the of Jewish fun. Um, religion actually like? What bonuses do you get? I have no uh, idea. Google. It can't. Uh, it can't be any worse than the right Coptics because the Coptics is a terrible one. Anyway, who isn't doing anything right Tolerance now? Tolerance uh, and fort defense. All right, uh, Kiev. You're not. You're not looking at it. Go Google it. You're not doing anything. Look, Google it. I will not alt tab out of this. <laughs> Everything will crash if I try. What it? And I am recording, so I will not. So and will... I am in a war, so I cannot. Well, oh. just, I just wine, do it wine, live. wine. What other problems do you have? Jeez. Do it live. Just, just convert yourself to Jew. <laughs> Judaism. I, I actually, I actually kind of do want to. Like actually, I was going to make a lot of stuff. Stuff. Actually, 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 no, we can't. Well, we can't. Muslim, what? Muslim view, the, uh, the Muslim viewers will complain. Oh yeah, all all of them. No, all the Coptic all viewers will complain. All, all the and Coptics the and, and the Muslims will complain. They don't uh... like Jewish people. All five of them will complain. Well, that's okay. I think we can handle that. <laughs> all five of them. All right, I've all tapped out. I'll, I'll Google it. Yeah. E for Jewish. What bonuses does it actually give you? <laughs> Every... It's in the Jewish. It's in its own uh, religious group, apparently. Yes. Nice. It's a Jewish religious group. Okay, all Jewish nations receive plus two tolerance of the true faith, plus one adv uh, possible advisor, and minus two local missionary strengths. Oh. Minus two what strength? Missionary. Local missionary, missionary strength. Basically, if oh. you have that, if, if they, someone say, captures your province. That's going to make it very hard it's to convert. It's hard for them to convert it. Yeah, it's hard to convert. Uh, so it's better than Coptic. <laughs> well, no, because Coptic Charlie. actually gets fort defense. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, ten percent fort fort defense as opposed to one more advisor. So it's not better than Coptic at all. Yeah, it's actually about as bad. Or worse. Man, so can I? I just want to go and convert to like seek or something that gives me like discipline and infantry combat ability. Yeah, the Sikh or Hinduism is ridiculously awesome. I, we all have to agree the best religion in the game is probably, probably Protestantism. Reform? Reform is really good. I've what never actually used Reform. I've never turned to Reform. What does it give you? Reform is really good. There's a lot of awesome stuff. What does it give you? I can't remember off the top of my head. I know Protestantism gives you like 20%. It gives you... Uh, I don't know. Chips and beer and hookers. Yeah. What kind of chips? And like My at least three chips. potatoes and... 
Look, guys, what kind, what kind of what kind of chips? Uh, are we talking about American chips or British chips? Oh, dicks! Uh -huh. I did something terribly wrong. Oh, what, what did you do? I took them as a vassal instead of annexing oh, them. No. <laughs> now you're at war with the Mamluks. Good. Yes, so, that's uh, correct. And and uh, Elodia. Do not invite me to that war. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Why did I think that was a thing that was? I'm like, oh, perfect. I didn't even realize they were still at war with him. <laughs> invite him to that war. <laughs> Do it. I will now. Not join. <laughs> most I'm trying to take fight. out this Mamluk army, which I'm actually doing quite well at because I have. A yeah, lot. that's surprising. Is it I'm surprised that that Elodia army is just kind of sitting there and watching you. You're gonna end up somehow taking over the entirety of the Mamluk somehow in this war as well. In one war, yeah. Yes. That'd be impressive. Space magic science. How are you doing for manpower? Six thousand ish. Wow, that's not bad. Considering you've been a non-stop war since the beginning of the game. Yeah. Oh, well, this is a, the Elodian conquest of this. Oh, so. Oh. So it's not even the Mamluks that I'm fighting, it's Elodia. Well, that's better. Oh, no, it's two wars, two separate wars. One against Elodia, one against the Mamluks. <laughs> Fuck me, why didn't I just take them? Yeah, we're not restarting. <laughs> Unless you utterly lose, we're not restarting. Yeah. And even if you do utterly lose... Uh... We'll continue on. Okay. Have fun. Yeah. Uh, I should just because I'm like, oh, I can take all their provinces, and I'm like, ah, oh, but that's gonna cost me so much admin points to core, and it's like, I don't really want to do all that. Like, I'll just not. Yeah, I don't think I. I've just looked at what reform gets, but it gets stuff of being at peace. No. It's an awful religion. You have to be at peace to get the stuff. Not taking that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try and go in war with Naj. Cause Oman will join. Declare colonial war. Oh what? What what? 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 They have an option to declare colonial wars now. That's kinda... this early on? No, I can't do it right. Oh. It's for overseas wars. Yeah, that's a thing. I thought you were like trying to declare colonial war on someone. No, it's just it's a thing, and I didn't think it would be a thing. I know it's a thing, but I thought you had an option to do that. That's what I think. I thought you were saying. I don't know what you're saying. I thought you were saying that you were going to declare a colonial war on them. I just gave me the option to, which so was kind of. You can cool. do it. So you I could. It. I'm just not going to. Just do it anyway. No, because I need to go overseas war to do that. Just do it. No. Uh, this is going to end poorly. Why? Um, cause I'm you were right about that Naj army. It was only a four stack because I just wiped them. Yeah. You know what? Here, Elodia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, why don't I give you? Tell you what. Uh, give me a pause here for just a minute. No. Uh, you can't have your pause and eat it. Pausings, too. pausings for the week. You can't have your pausing and eating eat it too. No, because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cheese the system. Mm, Clear mm. offer. Give, give, oh give. snap! What are you doing? I want to. Um, you want to break free? Uh, no, I, I want to give as much land as I can to Elodia, who is much smaller, and I'm able to kill later. <laughs> you want give them everything. Give free? I cannot give them Masawa. Masawa. Yeah, Elodia is not allied with Mamluks. No, they are not, and they're much smaller, and I can kill them later on. The Mamluks eventually will collapse anyways once the Ottomans start punching them in the face. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that as much. 
And then if I get rid of war reparations, if I give you a little bit more ducats. There we go. 52 ducats, and I give you... Ducats! I don't know. Ducats! Two provinces. Yes. That will get you out of the war. They rejected my offer of peace. All right. Really? Come on, where are you? You said okay, you would accept well. it. I know they were doing that, but it's like they start sieging something, or they attack an army, and they're winning, so they decide to change their mind. Yeah, something like that. Okay, come on. Okay. Should have just uh, annexed all those provinces. Oh, Poland, you rivaled me. Uh, yeah, fine, be that way. Best. Poland ball. Bloody ah. Poland, Lithuania, Commonwealth bastard. There we go. So I gave all that to you. Wait, what? Oh. That's a lot of boats. Yeah. Holy crap, Yemen has two heavies? Yikes, son. Damn, son. Damn. Damn. No, I'm not giving you a bunch of extra territory, Mamluks. I might release this Someone. one province for you. <laughs> But, like, I'm not giving you three extra provinces into my territory just because you want to. Okay. Gotta take out Hormuz. So, how are things going for you, Keeves? I'm in a war right now, and it's not bad. It's not mm. great, but it's not bad either. I'm in a war uh, right now, and I have no manpower. I do have manpower. I I'm don't, but I'm winning the war for I'm a lot. horribly worried about the Yemen fleet, though. And I think if anyone's ever played this game, they know why I don't have manpower. Yes. yes. Beca because I don't this early on. Okay. Come on. Random number generator. Work in my favor. Don't come roll Come on, zeros. RNG gods. RNG Don't gods, come zeros. on. Yes, I won. Yay. Okay, what if I get access through you? What if? And then I go there, 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 and retake the bit of land that I actually wanted to begin with. Because all of their war score is from actually occupying this. So rather than fight their armies in the mountains... I guess that's the desert? Huh. I would have what? said that was mountains. Oh, you're in a what? relatively decent position, actually. Trying to be. My fort defense is actually quite helpful because it ties up all their armies. Oh my god, what just happened? Hang on, I need to read something. There's like a massive, massive piece out there. I don't know what's going it's on. It's like four lines. On the following. <laughs> oh, it's actually. It's, it's huge. On the following terms, Golden Horde will cede Tamp off to Razan. Golden Horde will be forced to pay Razan 10% of their income for, the, for each month to pay for war reparations. This will last for 10 years. Golden Horde will release. Guacamala as a, so a sovereign state. Golden Hove will pay 100 ducats in Ryzan aid and its allies. Muscovy will get 77 of this amount. Will result in 0 0.11 inflation for Muscovy. The peace will cost Ryzan 18 diplomatic points. With the tribal conquest causes baby, Ryzan suffers 5.0 aggressive expansion. Wow, it's going to take him forever to finish reading that. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> yeah. I told you, 6.5. 6 6 so we'll see you next kids. time, folks. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>